So what is going on everybody? My name is Meho and welcome to your 11th ReactJS tutorial in which what I'm going to do essentially is that we're going to start with a ReactJS simple to do app and uh, that would allow us to help a lot of things in React and how to create actual apps and uh, I guess I have done that in AngularJS as well so that would help. So to create an app first, first of all, we need to decide how the app would be laid out, right? So let's just get to our favorite tool, uh, that is, as you might have guessed, and we would just grab a rectangle there and we would start creating our app. So let's just say if this is our app, we would have something like a header here, like anything like to do or something. Then what we would have is an input field, which would just allow us to add some more tasks and then what we can have is a list of tasks we have and with it a row of buttons or something like that to you know add and remove to remove the task or mark them complete or whatever so we'll just take a look at that later so that's how pretty much how our things would be laid out and uh, we would basically need uh, one two three and at max four components right well that's look pretty okay so anyways let's just get started so first of all let me just get rid of these two right there and inside script what we are gonna do is uh, gonna simply render our to do app or let's just name it to do only and we'll just pass some props if we need and inside index as well we can just say it to do to do okay so again we just need to import to do from components main let's just name it main and inside new file i'm gonna create main.js and i'm gonna say import react from react react from react like that right and we're going to export this class obviously and what we have to name this is to do extends react dot component and we just need react component as well oh not really we don't need that okay then we can have a constructor here well, I'm terrible with spelling of constructor. C O N S T R U C T O R. Uh, we can just call it super. Well, that's not really required, but anyways. So now what happens is that in our to do app, we're gonna create a render function which would return us this. So we can say that uh, h1 first, or let's just name it to do app h1 and then we can say something like uh, add new task as our component and uh, to do app list as a component as well so we need to create these two components for now and uh, we can do that by creating a new file and so let's just say uh, task.js and uh, what we have next uh, app list app list.js right so again for add task and app list we need these two and uh, for add new task what we can do is just copy this thing again uh, we can say add new task right there and uh, what we can return from here is simply an input field or actually we can just do a form so that our enter key works as well so i want to say on some bit s-u-p-m-i-t and we need an event here we'll just define in a minute and we can just say input type text yeah that's pretty much what we need right Okay, so let's just leave this for now. We'll just take a look at that later on. 
first let's just get our components ready and this is our new task done and then we have to do app list again we can just copy this thing and uh, we we can say this is to do app list and right here what we have to do is somehow create a variable like i don't know something like items and just uh, you know get props dot uh, tasks and something like that we'll just do that and uh, we can just maybe the figure six that there uh, we can just return something like li items we'll just take a look at that later on but pretty much we'll just get the items dynamically from its parent and we'll just later on create a ul which would pretty pretty much be like li task one added or you know task one just simply li tasks two we'll just make this thing dynamic later right so let's just take a look what we have done so far we have created our main script which just renders our to-do app inside to do then it renders from main and then we need to import these two as well import add new task from add task and import um, what this is app no to do app list from app list that's it i just put them in curly braces to make them work because we are not making them default right and yeah okay so if you take a look in the browser we get some sort of errors um yeah obviously we are returning a lot of parents there so we can just make it a div or something and here you can see that we have got our very basic app ready but it's not at all dynamic and it kind of reloads as well so we just want that to not happen so that's how pretty much you set up your to-do app and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to add life to this some magic and all that good stuff so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one